SpaceX has become quite a standout in the space industry, which is usually ruled by government space programs and big, well-known companies that have been around for a long time. When SpaceX first started in the early 2000s, it faced a tough beginning. However, they persevered, and the eventual success of the Falcon 1 in 2008 was a critical turning point, proving that a private company could indeed launch and operate space missions. The company's trajectory since then has been one of aggressive expansion and consistent improvement. The Falcon 9 rocket became the backbone of their operations, leading to the introduction of the Dragon spacecraft and later, the more powerful Falcon Heavy. The strategy to recover and reuse rocket boosters, once thought impractical, became routine for SpaceX, significantly reducing costs and increasing the pace of launches. As SpaceX entered the 2020s, their launch rate was unmatched, showing the industry that high-frequency space travel could become the norm. The company's ambitions and capabilities continued to grow, and by 2023, the achievements of SpaceX had reached new heights. This year, SpaceX launched 77 rockets, an unprecedented number that far surpassed their own previous records, with the count still rising. This total included 72 Falcon 9 rockets, their reliable workhorse, four Falcon Heavy launches, each carrying significant payloads, and one launch of the mighty Starship. This year's launch frequency builds upon a record-breaking performance in 2022. Last year, the Falcon 9 rocket set a new standard by successfully completing 60 launches within a calendar year. This achievement was momentous for several reasons, not least of which was the fact that it shattered a long-standing record that had been in place for over four decades. The previous record was held by the Soyuz rocket, which conducted 47 launches, 45 of which were successful. SpaceX didn't just break the record, they significantly surpassed it, marking yet another milestone in their growing list of achievements. And recently, when it seemed SpaceX had reached its peak, they raised the bar even higher by breaking their own record. Before we delve into this incredible milestone, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more SpaceX updates. As we all know, the Falcon 9 booster has become a symbol of modern space flights, thanks to its reusability. This means that unlike the rockets of the past, which were discarded in the ocean after a single use, Falcon 9's first stage boosters can be flown back to Earth, landing upright either on ground pads or drone ships at sea. And recently, one particular Falcon 9 booster, known as B-1058, has soared beyond the boundaries of previous records to become the most reused booster in the history of space exploration. This remarkable piece of engineering has not just been launched and recovered once or twice, but has achieved this feat a record-setting 18 times. Historically, the Space Shuttle's solid rocket boosters were retrieved and reused multiple times. However, they pale in comparison to this Falcon 9 booster. Each Space Shuttle booster could be flown up to 10 times after refurbishment. Even the orbiter itself, which was the reusable spacecraft part of the shuttle, typically flew between 5 to 39 missions. Now, let's circle back to Falcon 9's booster. Its tale of resilience began on May 30, 2020, when it first cut through the atmosphere, lifting off from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. This historic mission revived human spaceflight from American soil, nine years after the space shuttle had been consigned to history. From that first critical mission, this booster has been instrumental in a variety of SpaceX endeavors. It's carried satellites, resupply missions to the International Space Station, and more into space. This particular booster has now lifted nearly 600 Starlink satellites. It has now lifted nearly 600 Starlink satellites, not to mention a plethora of other payloads. In total, we're talking about almost 800 payloads entrusted to the care of B-1058. And let's not forget its record-breaking Transporter 1 mission in January 2021, where it orbited the most significant number of individual payloads ever launched by a U.S. rocket an astonishing 143 satellites, then went on to write its name into the history books once more, becoming the first Falcon 9 to reach its 14th and then 15th launch. And just when it seemed like it might be time for a well-earned retirement, B-1058 sprang back into action, notching up its 16th, then 17th, and recently its 18th mission. So, 
where does this leave us? Well, with each mission, it's edging closer to that jaw-dropping 20-launch milestone. Initially, this booster was flipping missions every seven weeks, with its best turnaround being a jaw-dropping 27 days. As the number of flights increased, so did the spacing between its launches. Following its 15th flight, B-1058 took a well-earned six-month break due to the extended recertification. But now, the intervals have stabilized again. And SpaceX has set a new target of increasing their yearly launch number from an already record-breaking 77 to an unprecedented 100. While it's a challenging goal, if SpaceX's track record is any indicator, they're poised to meet it head-on. And one of the most anticipated launches on their roster, the massive Starship. A recent tweet from SpaceX showed a video of the Starship at sunset, indicating readiness for a test flight that could happen as soon as mid-November. This gives us a clearer idea of when we might expect the launch. At the SpaceX Starbase in Texas, the final preparations for the Starship launch are well underway. A key part of these preparations was a test of the water deluge system, crucial for protecting the launch pad and the environment during the rocket's liftoff. This system was tested in a public demonstration on October 20th, 2023, and it's likely we'll see more tests as the flight date approaches. While these preparations mean temporary beach closures for safety reasons, they don't completely shut out the public. You can still watch from South Padre Island, a safe yet clear vantage point for those interested in catching a glimpse of the action. The next big step for SpaceX is getting the go-ahead from the FAA. Approval from the regulatory body is the final hurdle before the Starship can take to the skies. If the FAA's approval comes through quickly, the test flight is scheduled for the morning of November 13th at the South Texas facility. For many, the purpose of SpaceX's Starship might not be immediately clear. It's easy to assume it's just another vehicle designed to transport cargo to the International Space Station. However, the vision for Starship extends far beyond that. It's a cornerstone in the next chapter of human space exploration. NASA has recognized this potential and selected Starship as a crucial player in returning astronauts to the lunar surface. This isn't just about repeating what we achieved in the Apollo era. It's about establishing a sustainable human presence on the moon and eventually Mars. Starship is designed to be a fully reusable spacecraft, capable of carrying humans to these destinations and bringing them safely back to Earth. So when we talk about Starship, we're not merely discussing a transportation mechanism. We're talking about a vehicle that could redefine humanity's place in the cosmos. So. Everyone following SpaceX's progress is looking forward to this test flight. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.